to be fast. It's going to be intense. I love starting with the relays, all the energy, all the excitement, and some really fast team swimming. And then, of course, the team diving event is diving's version of a relay. Worth the same amount of points as a swimming relay. One of the best butterflyers in the country, and she's opening up a lead here. Emma Sticklin, huge off that wall, goes half the length of the pool underwater. Will Modlin just puts in work on top of the water. Yeah, it's so incredible to see his start, how he just maintained that dominance, his underwaters, his kick into the wall, just everything was just picture perfect from Will Modlin. And yep. then Schultz comes in. He continues the dominance. You mentioned a, a relay full of freshmen. This relay time actually beat last year's winners of upperclassmen. What does that mean to you guys? Yeah, so I think it's just really special. I mean, even before we all got on campus, we knew this class was gonna be, gonna be something special. Love the takeoff of this arm stand double. Gets into a deep pike as he kips off the platform to get that momentum. Remember, the platform is a cement block. There is no gives. So you got to push, you got to jump, getting eights, a few seven and a halves. Really solid start for Cincinnati. A lot of times with the men on the one meter, you'll see the springboard actually touch the water. That's how strong these men are. They get so much jump. He gets eights on that dive. Such an impressive showing as Texas stays dominant here in the team event. Love that camera angle. You really get the shot of the jump that Alec has off the five meter. That's a hard dive to do. He gets a somersault done above the platform and puts the dive away, a really clean entry. 64.50 points for Alec Hubbard. He'll get to keep one of those eights and that six will get knocked off. Such a picture perfect jump. Stays on the takeoff. Pike saves the dive on the bottom to stop the legs from washing past vertical. 58.50. It's tight from second to fifth. <laughs> Love it. Just disappears in the water. Beautiful takeoff. The control in the air. And then it's just like a magnet finding vertical and just drilling the entry. The highest scoring dive is 78-40 of the contest for Texas. I love the takeoff. I love where he lands in the water. Just really good control. That perfect distance from the three meter. Just soared in the air on that takeoff and finds the square out. She can absolutely rip. Yeah, Pash set her up well too. She went out fast with that 23.90 and those consistent splits there in the back half of the race, and Texas is rolling almost at a half of a pool length ahead of everyone else. He makes this race look like just an all-out sprint. It's amazing how he just maintains his breathing pattern, has such quick turns, and just stays dominant. When I was a diver in college, I did not have this team event. Can you talk about how fun it is to participate in this event? Oh, it's so fun. It's a crazy atmosphere out here. Kobe, I know you're no stranger to winning this relay. You're a senior, but you've got some underclassmen underneath, you, underneath of you. How did you prepare them to race this event at this stage? Um, well, you know, Texas history in this event, you know, we kind of feel like it's our relay. With the re defending champion in TCU's David Ekdahl, red shirting to focus on the Olympics this year really leaves the door open for all the competitors on the one meter tonight. The court is such a pretty diver. Love has come out on this dive, stopping this two and a half pike 
and Pike saving perfectly just to stop the dive. Alec Hubbard is just shining so far in this meet. He's got experience competing in the Big 12s year in, year out. You look at Mickey's dive list, five of the six dives are over 3.0 degree of difficulty. He has a big list and he does it well. Take a look at this hurdle. The board dips and touches the water. He's so strong. On this forward three and a half, it's a lot of dive. Perfect takeoff. When you ask me what the judges are looking for, they want that dominance in the hurdle and that tight twist the way Brandon displayed in the air, and then he just stops the dive completely with a really strong square out on the bottom. Gets his arms all the way up on the takeoff with the hips up, lines the dive down. The walk away with 68-20, getting sevens and seven and a halfs on the dive. Mickey Strauss is having one heck of a final so far as he's done three of the six dives. Oh, such picture perfect dive. Just the perfect distance from the board. Such a strong takeoff. He has so much confidence in this dive. This is a strong category for him. Reverse twisters. I mean, big points getting eights and seven and a half, so a total of 61-10, just an all-around beautiful dive for Manny. Does a great job keeping that chest over the start, really getting as much out of the springboard as possible. Those hips up, lines it down, he'll get a nine, it gets taken away, but a 75.95 point dive there, that's huge. Excellent takeoff, beautiful come out, finds his spots, pikes out, stops the dive, shows that control that the judges are looking for, especially on a reverse two and a half. Court's reverse twisters are so strong. He is just so, has such a nice and pretty twist in the air. And then his square out is so commanding. He gets four nines on this dive. Excellent takeoff, gets the arms all the way through, squares out. Look at that lineup. Oh my goodness, just disappears underwater. dive up so well. Perfect distance from the springboard. Two, three nines, four eight and a halves. Arms all the way through, just spins up and over the board, stops the dive on the bottom. I am blown away by this young man who is just putting away his dives one after another after another. That was a, a fantastic reverse two and a half. Love how he keeps his head up, his chin up on the takeoff. Gets the chest over the start. Spins the dive up. Controls the bottom, walking away with eight and a half and eight, 77.50 points. I love it. I love to see it. McCourt got 72 points on this dive in prelims. Call 
home under pressure, gets the arms all the way through, stops the dive. Look at that entry, just beautiful, getting 81 points. It's a lot of nines up there, Natalie. A lot of nines. A lot of nines for Nick Harris to look up at as he gets ready for his last round dive. He was up three on McCourt. It was a really good dive. And you know, it's in the judges' hands now. This was a tight one and a close one. Wow, 76. 80 points. Brendan McCourt will win with a 435 35. And look at all the hugs he's getting. A strong showing from Brendan McCourt, the senior from Texas, walking away with the gold. And just a point underneath him, Nick Harris, who also did a great job as a sophomore. Noah Dupere. How about Mickey Strauss? Seated seventh. He ends up fourth. Hits all of his dives, incredibly consistent. Breaks that top six that Texas was seeded. And then just a, a great showing from all these divers. They all contributed a lot of points. Alec Hubbard of TCU, so that was a fun competition. Brandon Matzkogan telling me that you really wanted to go out in style before you move on to bigger and better things after diving. I'd say a gold medal and a personal best is going out in style. How were you able to get this gold medal? Um, just trust in my practice and trust in my coach and trust in myself, most importantly. Kyle, this race is all about that strategy. You know, you don't want to go out too fast. You want to save a little bit of that gas in the tank for the back half of the race. So you'll see a lot of these um, the swimmers just almost spreading out a little bit, then coming a little bit closer together. But you can see the jets are starting to turn on a little bit more here on uh, turn 15. It's interesting to see the breathing in lane five of Gemmel. She's breathing away from Sullivan on the on the one lap of the pool, and then she sees her on the other one. So she's keeping her eye on her. It was cool to see their finish in slow motion next to each other. No breath in the flag. Sullivan actually almost did a little bit of like a dive into the wall. But Gemmel walks away with this one, a 440.09. And look at that last split, a 27.07. I mean, you just look at all of her splits. They were all so consistent. She's going on fast. He makes this race look so easy. Has a great strategy so far, you know, breathing every stroke, has a good kick. His walls have been extremely efficient. He's a half a body length ahead of everyone else. So impressive, going out so strong, super efficient on the turns. Kelly Pash on that back half, as you mentioned, she's dangerous. You don't want to mess with her. Her time at 153.80, it beats her win last year of a 153.94. So you knew she was going to have a good time. and. She's still so close to that meet record. What is special about this one? Ooh, I'd say I think it's super special just having, like I said, four other of my teammates in there with me. We saw what Will Modulin did leading that relay with the backstroke yesterday. He is a force to be reckoned with in the backstroke. You almost see Modulin is closing in a little bit, about an arm's length in on Tiffany, and this is becoming a tight race here. Really nice jump, tight pike, clean entry. Great executed dive from the takeoff to the finish. The back and the reverse categories are so important on three meter. Michelle did a nice job with the consistency on that back two and a half, finding her spot, piking out of the dive. Really great entry on the dive. She could get even higher points if she held that arm stand at the top just a little bit longer.
beautiful jump. Emma did a great job staying on the start with her chest over her toes, getting that dive to spin up. Gets seven, seven and a half, 58, 80. Wow. That was impressive. That was Chase, one of the more ridiculous things I've ever seen in my life. Chase was about to balk. She was, she gets up into the arm stand. And her legs, actually, her back arches, she loses balance, walks a few inches, then walks back on the end of the tower and does the dive. Usually when you're about to balk, you step down and you reset. She didn't do that. It's 10 meters above the air. 10 meters above the air. She fought for the finish and completed the dive and did it really well. It goes to show you, don't give up. If you feel like you're gonna balk, you know, keep going. Push through. Beautiful hold on the top. Oh my goodness, what an entry. Lizzie Van Luyen of Kansas absolutely crushes this dive. She gets a nine. Eight and a half, sevens. Beautiful hold at the top, control, beautiful pike. Oh my gosh just disappears underwater and she knows it. <laughs> Haley Hernandez doing what she does best and that's just putting away three meter optionals. Haley is such a beautiful diver. She gets nines and eight and a half, 75, 60 for Texas. Nicely executed dive. Control from the start, the end of the takeoff, into the twist, then on the out. I love that camera angle on 10 meter and platform in particular. You can see from the profile that ankle pop she gets, the height she gets off the 10 meter as the photographer follows the dive down to the entry. Look at this ankle pop. Gets an entire flip done above the 10 meter to find the bottom of the dive. Puts the dive away. The reverse category on three meter is such a big one. She gets eight, eight and a half, seven. All the way up at the 10 meter. Excellent dive. I actually competed this dive. It is a fun dive to do. It's a lot of dive. It's a two and a half with a full twist in the pike position, starting off with the twist, then folding into the pike. 59.45 on that dive. I want to talk strategy with you, Jordan. Yeah. How did you guys come up with, okay, who's going to do what dive on what board and so on and so forth? Yeah, um, so it was a lot of um, Matt and Manny, our coaches, strategizing and kind of talking with us, seeing what we were comfortable with. Last night, we crowned our first individual champion on the one meter springboard. That was Brandon McCourt of Texas. The senior earned his first conference championship win. So it was an exciting night last night and more to come on the diving side tonight. Caroline gets those hips up on the takeoff of the dive. On one meter, the judges are looking for that jump. Even though you're closer to the surface of the water, they want to see how high you can get and how you can complete the dive over the springboard. Really, really nice. I love how Shion folds into the pike and then pike saves really quickly on the water. 57, 60, I mean, look at this top. Keeps the chin up on the takeoff and on the landing. And gosh, she just, folds underwater. Kansas always has some strong divers. Gosh, Chase gets so much out of the springboard. It's amazing, her jump. 
she just lets that dive float in the air because the springboard pretty much catapults her into the air and, and does that work. Gosh, with the jump she gets out of the board, I feel like she is probably a candidate to do a reverse two and a half talk on one meter. I mean, eight and a half, just a beautiful dive over 60 points on it. I mean, just watch this hurdle set up. It really doesn't get any better than that. Arms all the way through. I love her pike out of the dive. Excellent job. I mean, that height off the board, I just... She has such a great hurdle and, and her consistency on her takeoffs. Yeah, her pike, the pike outs on her dives are so good. She stops these dives in mid air with these pike outs. I mean, I just take another look at this, stays on the takeoff. Look at that pike out. This is a difficult dive to do on one meter. And I love Kupka's takeoff, her hurdle. She's patient with the springboard. Let's the board do the work, squares out of the dive. Gets the arms all the way through. Nice square out for excellent entry. I don't think she could get a better takeoff than that. And the entry speaks for itself. What an excellent dive by Chase Ferris from start to finish. She's patient on the end of the springboard, gets her arms all the way through. Look at that come out. Fantastic. What a takeoff, what an entry. A lot of Houston fans. I mean, it gets really loud in here when she hits the water and rightfully so, she does great dives. 59.80, this is a tight, tight event. A 322.90, that'll put her at the top. Look at this takeoff, patient, arms all the way through. Just finds the entries of this dive. I mentioned it earlier, Anna Kwong does multiple two and a halves in different directions on one meter. Her inward, such a good group for her. What a strong finish for Anna Kwong. A lot of the divers put their best dive last. That was certainly a way to go out. Uh, just buries it, just puts it away. Cheyenne finished off with a 340-45, so Haley Hernandez is your champion. Again, she defends her title from last year. In talking to your coach, Matt Scoggin, about you, he says you're about the best competitor he has ever met. And that was a tough race there with Cheyenne Lay, um, really trying to stay as close to you as possible. Take us through your championship routine in a final like this. You know, in a final, it's it's pretty quick. You know, it's very fast paced. So I just like to stay up, get moving. I love to listen to music, dance around a little bit. Um, I really love the competition and being able to, you know, hear divers hit their dives. It really fuels me to get ready for myself. Did you see her turn off that wall? I mean, that was so efficient. Wasted no time, gets right into the next lane. Take a look at this. The distance she goes underwater, she's the last one to come up for breath takes advantage of those walls, stretching into the wall through the lanes here. And her finish was absolutely incredible. It's all about that timing and that push into the wall. A 50.61 for Emma Sticklin of Texas. She'll put this one away. Timing up that finish is so key, especially within the flags either taking that extra stroke or just pushing into the wall. I mean, look at that finish. Pfeiffer coming back here. 
into the flags. Pfeiffer looking strong, glides in. And Pfeiffer will take it a 421-67. What an incredible finish in the wall here. But it is going to go to Jordan Edwards in lane three of TCU, a 420-10. What a final finish for Edwards here. I mean, this final push keeps a breathing pattern, does a good job in the flags here. She just glides into the wall for that 4-20-10 finish. Great kick, great glide into the wall. Super efficient on the turns. Really good underwaters off the wall. He has certainly added to his lead in the breaststroke. Yeah, Kelly Pash with a really fast turn. 26-2 for Pash, 26-69 for both Davidson and Gemmel. Kelly Pash starting to separate herself a little bit. Really Oops. impressive how Roanoke is closing in here on this race and the final finish. And it'll be Roanoke of West Virginia. German Prey is really closing in on Carosa here. This final length will be huge. But it looks like Carosa is really sticking with it. And he's staying strong, turning the Jets on in the flags. Carosa will get it. Kobe, you're a senior. You've had so many impressive swims, but I want to talk about the youth of this team. 20 of the 26 guys are freshmen or sophomore. How impressed have you been with this freshman group, especially oh. starting off with that relay? Yeah, I'm super impressed. The freshmen really on the first day. I mean, coming into a school like Texas, it's a big, there's a lot of pressure for freshmen. top bottom matches the top he keeps those hips up lines it down does a good job of getting a lot of jump off of the springboard the takeoff in the air the jump the entry it's all elements that the judges are looking for he'll get seven and a half and eights on this drive Love his two and a half list on three meter. His dives are so consistent. His pike is so pretty. He's so flexible, folds in, almost kisses his knees. He's so close in the air. Getting nines on that dive just below 80 points. An incredible dive to start the competition for Noah. After prelims, he looked at the leaderboard and yelled, I made finals and was screaming. And one of the judges looked over and said, you sure did, and you earned it. And I love that reaction. It was so funny. Elliot Dillon can put his dives away, and he doesn't even know it. Really good takeoff. Sneaks this dive in. He's so powerful. He maintains his strength off the diving board. Straight eights. Mickey Welcome Strauss. to the Big 12, Mickey Strauss and BYU. Just buries it, puts this dive away. He makes it look so easy. A front three and a half bike on three meter. Excellent hurdle and takeoff. He's patient on the start. Really good in the air and just drills the bottom. He gets a nine that will get knocked off, but hey, eight and a half, he'll take it. When you watch his takeoff on inwards, he keeps his head up, his chin up, and his core engaged, total balance, getting those hips up on the takeoff. 75 points for Noah Dupere on that dive. Rinse and repeat, McCourt hits his dives. He has high degree of difficulty dives. He does them so well, his toe point, his entries, his lines, he's long and lean, so he looks very pretty going into the water. 
And he is just thriving. He's a senior. He won on one meter. Excellent hurdle. Excellent placement from the board to the water. Stands the dive up. Three and a half twists. 77 points. A big smile. A thumbs up to the camera. Mickey Strauss with a 409-15 finish. Look at this takeoff. Gets right to the end of the board, stands that dive up. Look at that tight twist, squares it out. And I love his reaction. Solid start, beautiful finish. For Noah Dupere, he was seated first, heading into the finals. And a 446-80 will give him the win. So he throws up the hook'em horns. The Texas Longhorn will win on the three-meter springboard. Sets up the hurdle. Does a really good job with a tight twist, squares it out, lines the bottom. Dupere did not miss a dive. Stayed consistent throughout the entire competition. Another look. His twisters, he's long and lean. So he has beautiful lines going into the water. They're so good. They're racing against themselves. Kelly Pash closing out this final length of the pool. So strong. It is amazing how Kelly just pushes herself into the flags. No one around her. It's really incredible to see how BYU has been able to come back from that. Like you said, Jordan Tiffany, even after that start, was able to make up for it. Maybe not enough to pass Texas, but closing in on that second place spot here. The diving this weekend so far, and week, honestly, has been incredible. It has been excellent. Those springboard events last night did not disappoint, but tonight we're climbing all the way up to the platform for the women's platform event. So it should be another really good event. Yeah, it's going to be great. So let's talk a little bit about what we saw this morning in the prelims, because that sets the stage for what we're going to see in the final tonight. A lot of great dives in prelims. And the Texas graduate student, Jordan Skilkin, she won this event in 2020 and 2022. She'll be looking to defend her title tonight on the 10 meter platform but seated third heading into the finals is michelle mcleod of houston her first round dive in prelims was her inward two and a half pike it was her highest scoring dive she got seven seven and a half so a total of 60.20 points on that dive seated second is sarah carruthers of texas she got third in this event last year her fourth round dive in prelims, her back two and a half pike was her highest scoring dive, receiving seven and a half eights and a total of 66.70 points. And our leader heading into finals, Jordan Skilkin, put on a nice display this morning. The platform specialist hit her back two and a half, one and a half off 10, first seven and a half and eight. She will look to defend those two titles from 2020 and 2022. It's definitely one of those races that you don't want to go out too fast and you have to save and store that energy kind of the way you're seeing Jan do in uh, lane three for TCU. She's starting to slowly close up on this race. It'll be interesting to see what Pash can do on the back half of this race as we go into the second hundred second and final hundred of the race. But those underwaters, it's amazing. Look at that. She does not break the surface for almost half of the length of the pool. It's so impressive that she just continues that throughout this entire race. I mean, these women are getting tired at this point. It's just a matter of just pushing through. That was a really efficient and quick turn by Kelly Pash as she brings it into the flags. And look at this timing here on the wall. Glides just by a fingernail. Kelly, I want to talk about that healthy competition there between you and Emma Sticklin. It's so fun to watch you towards the back half of the race. Can you talk about how training together and, and how you push each other in competitions as well? Yeah. I mean, Emma is such a competitor. She works so hard. I mean, it's always such an honor being able to swim next to her. 
and she always is just going for it. Brad, that last 50 was incredible and the turning point of the race. You took off and did not look back. Take us through that final 50. I saw Cole really close to me. I wanted that win. I literally told myself, all heart, I'm going for it. It hurt so bad, but it was definitely <laughs> worth it. Ellen, the senior, what a treat to watch in this race. We look at her stroke. We talked about this the other day. She has a very different stroke. And there can be a lot of different types of strokes and breaststroke, and they can all be successful. So impressive what Jacoby was able to do on this final turn. I mean, look at this turn. Boom, top of your screen. Her underwaters. And then she just turns the jets on from here on out. This final lap is just so fast into the flags. Jacoby holding on, and what a finish. All about the timing, right, Kyle? The, the finish, Jacoby on the top of your screen, just glides into the wall for a new Big 12 meet record. 57-27. Wow, great first 25. 10.92 for Nigel Forbes. I was thinking the exact same thing with his start. I mean, look at that underwater, too. Nigel Ford is cruising. Really, really good kicks. Efficient turn. Continues the momentum of those really good underwaters. And then heading into this final 50, this turn right here, huge turn. Will Modulin shows us why he's an expert in this race. I mean, we saw him the other night on the relay. I mean, that was such an impressive swim, set the meet record. Here he is, turns it around, gets it done in the 100 back, gets the gold. I'm sure he wanted to break his time the other night, yeah, but wanna, that's very- I wanna ask him about that finish there. It's a tall task. Inward two and a half somersault pike. This is a beautiful dive. A hard dive to master. You want to get that distance from the tower, but that jump, so you want to push away a little bit, but you don't want to cut your momentum off too much on the takeoff. She did a really good job of that. Uh, I love this dive. Sarah has such a great jump off the 10 meters. She jumps this dive straight up in the air, 67.20 points on the dive. The judges want to see that aggression on the end of the platform, and she displays that just beautifully. Really good follow through under the water for Caroline Kupka. She's done an excellent job for the Longhorns. Look at that jump, beautiful come out, pikes it out, and look at that follow through, pike saves on the bottom, doing a forward three and a half somersault and tuck position. Judges looking for a big jump and finish off the dive with a, a clean entry. And of course that control in the air. Crowd loves it, judges love it, great dive. She had a fantastic takeoff. She'll get eights on this dive, 64.80 points. When you go after someone who just hit the same dive that you're about to do, you don't worry about it. You just focus on you, what you need to do. That's exactly what Sarah does. I love her jump. We saw it on the back twister, and now you're seeing it on the front category. The girl is not afraid to jump, even when she's 32 feet in the air. So really impressive dive from Carruthers. She'll get eights on the dive, 64.80. Anyone's got an excellent rip. It's this lady right here. She does not mess around on tower. She gets two nines on this dive and a handful of eight and a halves. Fantastic dive. Wow. 
really nice dive. This is a hard dive to do because you do a little bit of everything. You start with the twist, and then you have to get into the pipe. Solid dive for Haggerty. She is just hitting her dives here tonight on the finals. A 60-90. Take a look at this takeoff. Chest stays up. The head is up on the start, and it's up on the entry. Gets the arms up, keeps the chest and the head up, and the rest takes care of itself on this dive. Executes the twist, then gets into the pipe. That 276 here, 60.90. That'll bump her up in the standings. Look at this chest on the takeoff, in the dive. Locks and loads it right into the finish. start. I love it. Off the tower, the half twist, gets deep into the pipe, squares it out, 66.30 points. Look at this jump. Just beautifully executed dive. You can get carried away with the twist. She doesn't. She squares out of the twist, folds into the pipe, and controls the dive. And that turns our attention to Jordan Skilkin. One more dive. She's doing a back two and a half with one and a half twists. So Skilkin in second. Yeah, she needs a big dive here, but a high degree of difficulty here in the last dive of that last round, the women's platform final. Yeah, she needs about 76 points here to pass Carruthers. Really good dive. Nice entry. A 334.90. She, she passes point two, her Natalie. teammate point two. by point two, Kyle. I, I had to do a double take on the scoreboard. I Hang didn't on think it a was second. possible. Jordan Skilkin comes back with this dive wow. in second the entire contest. Gets 76.80. And that's where that degree of difficulty dive. comes into play. You save it, and you can really put up a big score like Jordan Skilton just did right here. Finishes on her money dive. Wow. What an impressive performance by Jordan Skilton. Her third Big 12 title on the platform. Big hugs from Manny Pollard. Her teammate Sarah Carruthers, who probably can't believe it. The score was so close. 334. 90 was Skilkin and 334 70 was Sarah Carruthers. Welcome back to the Big 12 Championship where we just finished the platform event on the women's side. And joining us now is our winner, Jordan Skilkin. Jordan, congratulations on this win. Thank you. You were in second for the entire competition. You needed 76 80 for first place and you got it on the last dive. Take us through that final dive. Yeah, um, so I end with back twist because I'm really confident in it and I know I can hit it. It also gives me a little bit of an adrenaline rush so it keeps me in the competition well. Um, and Matt's had me practice and train that dive so many times and in high pressure situations like this. So when it came down to it, I knew I could hit it. Jordan, you won this event in 2020, then 2022, and now 2024. <laughs> How much does this mean to you now as a grad student yeah. to secure your final Big 12 Conference Championship on the platform? Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, uh, I love platform. It's my favorite event. Uh, and to finish off my last Big 12s with a win means so much to me. And I'm excited to go on to zones and hopefully NCAAs and keep it going. Thank you for putting on such a fun show for us. Congratulations, Jordan. Soak it all in. Thank you. Avalonghi maintaining that lead here. Great turn. Fantastic underwater. I'm not sure she'll take a breath here. Kelly Pash is, is dangerous. She can do so many events. She's so versatile. Look at her coming home here in the flags now. Just stretches for that finish. A 126-66 for the Texas Longhorns as they get it done in the 200 free relay. 
Natalie, we're about to head over to the diving well in just a moment. Give us a quick preview of what we're going to see. It's been so great so far over there. Yeah, a lot of tight races. Anna Kwong of TCU had a fantastic showing in prelims. Her score, a 369, made the Olympic trials cut a new school record, and she's seated first heading into the finals. But it will be a tight list of competition. Also starting with an inward. Gabriella is very powerful, very strong. You saw the momentum she got off the diving board on that category. You'll see a lot of her two and a halfs are done in the pike position. She's very strong, gets a lot of height, and can complete those dives. Excellent takeoff, keeps the chest up the head up on the start getting the arms all the way through eight and a half eights 66.15 points for lay for her first dive love amanda's takeoff on this dive sets up the forward three and a half Honestly, in, in one of the best ways you can. Setting up the hurdle, getting the arms all the way through. Then the dive will take care of itself because these women are so trained, their muscle memory, they do these dives so much. It's a lot in the takeoff. Excellent hurdle. On a reverse, I can't help myself, but almost not even breathe during the hurdle because I want these women to hit their approaches and set the dive up. She sets that up so well. Eight and a half, seven and a half. We'll take a look at this again. She gets her arms all the way through, tight core. Pikes out of the dive. Pike saves on the bottom. Anna Kwong just continuing that momentum from prelims. Great start, great distance, great control in the air, which the come out just does it itself. When all those pieces are together, that's just how it ends up. Lay sets up this hurdle, is patient on the springboard, pikes out. I mean, she comes out of that dive like it's a reverse dive. Here's Ferris with a forward two and a half with one twist pike. Love her distance on the dive. That's a lot of dive to do. So you really want to stand it up as best you can, but also get that forward momentum because you're flipping in the pike position. You're twisting. You're having to come out of the dive. And here's O'Neill doing the same dive. Full out, we call it. Excellent takeoff, excellent distance, fabulous entry for O'Neill. She's been really fun to watch this final. 67.50 on this dive, seven and a half across the board. She just lives up to the pressure and under the bright lights of finals. Fantastic finish. Eight and a half, eights for Lay on her final dive. DeMarto looks to be holding on here in the last lap. Yep, we see a little more white water under her. We see she's really turning the jets on as we Head into the flags on the final push of this race. A solid last flip turn, good underwater. Builds that momentum into the final push of the race. Will, congrats on a great swim. I want to talk about that final 50. Hunter's <laughs> right next to you. He does a 25-7, yeah. pushing you to the end. Take us through that finish. Honestly, I was talking with my teammates before. Our strategy there was kind of just fly and die and 
I mean, that's exactly what happened, at least for B. Got to save the legs. It's a lot on the upper body. You realize she makes it look so easy watching her, watching her stroke and her strategy, but I mean, she is really saving those legs a lot on the upper body, and she'll need those legs in the back end of the race. We talked about that strategy of slicing and dicing this race into 500s and pushing more, pushing more, pushing more as the 500th approach. Sullivan still maintaining that breathing pattern throughout. We're seeing her pick up the momentum in her arms. You'll see a little extra of a kick off the walls here. She's starting to get a little bit more of a push here in the in the back half of the race. Breaststrokers are just great athletes. They're some of the best in the weight room. You know, they just have this endurance, this strength about them. I mean, this is a really hard race to swim. It's a lot on your legs. It's a lot on your arms. Great job, great momentum off of the platform. That is pure upper body strength because you're on your hands. Really good push off the platform. This one is two somersaults with one twist in the free position. Excellent hold at the top, and I love the side view where you could see that kip that Pierce had off of the tower. His toes almost touched the platform. He went into such a deep pike. Big first round dive, 72 points. Oh, money dive. The Longhorns on the side are going insane. Beautifully executed reverse two and a half. From takeoff to pike out, nines, nine and a half. 75-60. Broughton doing a back three and a half somersault. Oh my goodness. You just watch his takeoff and it looks like he's just doing a backflip on the ground, but holds on for two and a half more flips. I mean, that takeoff, he gets so much height above the platform, pikes out of the dive and just has these Fabulous entries. Tanner looking to secure gold. Wow, what an event for Tanner Broughton. Huge dive, finishes strong. That's all you can ask for, just put away your last dive. Excellent finish for Broughton, 83 points, 452-20. I mean, picture perfect entry for Tanner Broughton. And what momentum. He got the Olympic trial score in prelims, turns the heat up for finals, and has one heck of a showing. Jumps the dive up, gets it stuck. High degree, degree of difficulty dive, a 3.3. Really nice finish for Noah. Look at this, he jumps it straight in the air, squares it out and lines it up. But Tanner Broughton will win gold on the platform. We'll take a look at his final dive. I mean, all his dives were winning dives, but look at this jump. Gets into the pike, squares it out, finds the hole, and just rips the entry. A high five from Matt Scoggin and all the teammates. I mean, check that out. Legendary coach Matt Scoggin. So proud of his freshman diver, Tanner Broughton. Got the Olympic trial score in prelims. One gold in finals. Doesn't get much better than that. Tanner Broughton joining us now on a headset. Tanner, congratulations on not only a Big 12 title, but also an Olympic trial score on three meter and platform. You've had one heck of a freshman year Big 12. 
Can you talk about the emotions behind these wins? Um, yeah, there's a lot of emotion behind it. It's just excitement and a bunch of happiness. I've worked so hard all year. Tanner, you've only been diving for three years. It's absolutely incredible what you've been able to accomplish. Matt calls you quite the competitor. What is it like to represent the Longhorns diving program? Um, it is great. I actually come from a background of gymnastics, so I had like a little bit of that flipping stuff that I did beforehand, but um, it's just awesome to be a part of the Longhorns program. I wouldn't want to be at any other school. Really strong, strong start for the Longhorns in lane four, just keeping at it. A little bit of a challenge there in lane five. Quigley Ari of yeah. TCU. Great underwaters. Kelly Pash means business. Heading into the flags here. Another great turn for Kelly Pash. She is just so much fun to watch. Your final Big 12 championship alongside your teammates ends with a win. You've been so much fun to watch. How much fun has it been to just year after year compete, not only in this conference, but for the Longhorns? Oh my God, it's a dream come true. Texas really coming home here with the finish. What a huge advantage by Crane Cole. I mean, a 10-7 split time, 144-64, as Camden Taylor, the freshman, looks to dive in and, and close this race off. This event never disappoints, and it never disappoints for so many different reasons. It was so much fun with these new schools that are here, Cincinnati, BYU, Houston. It's just so much fun just adding so much more talent. And here's a look at the final results. Texas winning both the men's and the women's side.